this is an easy thing to make. Just chilling in here. But this is the ramp that we have. Still have a couple more months before they start laying eggs. We made a nice little door. What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. We got our little Henny. She's such a sweet girl. She's doing great. And we got our other little girl, Clover, here. So, we are gonna do something really cool today. It is time, as you can see, these girls are getting huge. We gotta get them outside. They can't stay inside anymore. So we are gonna put together a nice little chicken run slash chicken coop for them so they can spend a lot more time outside. That thing is great if we're keeping an eye on them, but they need to be more protected because again, we got the woods. So we're gonna put something that's gonna be really cool. Again, just temporary just to get us through until close to winter time and then we'll build something really big, really nice so that they can stay in permanent. But this is gonna be able to get them outside. Are you excited? Guys, subscribe, hit that bell up top, wherever the hell the bell is, just hit it. Share this around, Billings fam, doing big things. Let's make you a chicken coop. Sound good? Yeah, yeah, hi. All right guys, so what we are now doing is we're gonna first build the run. So they're gonna have an eight foot run, really cool. We have our two by twos here. It's gonna be an eight foot by four by three, by two? Three. Eight by four by three. three. Mm -hmm. eight by four by three anyways you'll see it so we're making our cuts and we're going to start putting this together we're going to throw up the frame of the run first Bam! and that is what the frame is going to look like so we'll get one more of these uh if you guys are keeping track we use two and a half inch screws on these we do have a hammer drill i recommend using maybe just a regular drill this has a lot of force behind it but this will do fine and we'll end up getting another piece right there for the brace but let's just duplicate this so we have our two and get them put together. Boom! Do me a favor right now. Jump down in those comments. Let me know if you guys have ever built anything like this. I know there's some of you out there that have some chickens. You've probably built some really cool things. We love getting new ideas. Let me know if you've built anything like this. If you have, let me know what they are. Shoot, send me a picture. I would love to see that. I am loving how this is coming out. What do you guys think so far? Basically got the frame all done. And then we'll just throw up, we got just two more pieces to put across, and then we're gonna throw up the chicken wire for the fencing, chicken fencing, chicken wire, whatever the heck it is. I'm gonna throw that up there to keep it secure, and then we'll start working on the little, uh, basically the hen house part for it. Hey, Gray, what do you think? Yeah. It's a, it's a grace and run. Go, go, go. Get set, go. There he goes. See, multi-purpose. Oh, you're so pretty. You want to say hi to everybody? Say, Clover, say hi. Say hi to the Billings fam. Billings fam, what do you think so far? I'm pretty excited. Like I'm pretty impressed. We really have no idea what we're doing. We're just kind of throwing this together. She is beautiful. Oh, don't fly. I don't want to chase you right now. Penny, don't do it. Are we back? What's up, Billings fam? It's been a couple of days. We put on a nice coat of paint. It's all dried up. And we put on the first outside layer on the back of the little chicken wire there so things are really coming together i'm excited as you can see they just want to get outside we got kazoo here he's hiding kazoo is like oh, uh -oh. oh no oh that's not good oh not this again someone's got to hold kazoo Penny. <laughs> no i don't want you going into the woods that's for sure so hi sweetie come here it's okay that's okay honey that's fun Hi, sweetie. Did you want to just say hi to all the Billings fam? This is this is our ugly duckling. Henny, Henny has become our ugly duckling. She is not the most beautiful, but she is the most beautiful, if you know what I mean. Hi, don't look at my face that way. Hi. So, super cool, guys. What we're going to work on today is finishing this bad boy up. We got to get it fully wrapped in the chicken wire and built the little support section. We gotta get their little hen house going right here. Right, George? So, gonna get that built, get that done. We are good. Make sure, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give me some better ideas if you've done anything like this. Say what's up to Kazoo. Kazoo needs some friends. Say what's up. Let's get her done. We are wrapping this guy up. We're just gonna go right around, get all this on. Take a look over here, just for fun. We had the pool laying around. We got kazoo and just a little temporary thing, just so we could hang outside with us for the day. They are going to be getting out very, very soon in something similar to this. Wanted to throw something out there to you guys. Do me a favor, comment down below, 
let me know what you guys want to see. So we still have a lot of things coming up, you know. We got everything with the pool pond we're doing. We got the koi pond. We got the turtles coming out. What do you guys want to see, huh? You guys want to see feeding videos? You want to see DIY videos? Let me know what you want to see. We want to do what makes you guys happy. The one nice thing about this chicken wire is you can use regular scissors to cut it instead of having to use like bolt cutters or stuff that we've had to use in the past. What we are doing now is building the framework for a nice little door here. We were originally gonna do it on the top and then realized we wouldn't be able to reach the chickens. So we're gonna put a nice door here that opens this way so that we can get in there when we need to take the chickens out. You can do it. Come here. You're walking, George. Your first honey. steps. Your first steps because we're building stuff. Oh my goodness. That is so cool, Georges. Did you see that, Greg? <laughs> Finishing touches on the hinges for the door. All right, true test. Let's see if my door works that I built. Made a nice little door in case you need to open it to get your chickens, or in this case, get your kazoos he is ready to go inside huh bud all right we're gonna go inside get the kids all set and we're gonna come back and this thing's gonna be finished tonight boom Felix fam let me just tell you a quick story I was out the other day and I get a text and it's a little picture <laughs> of a person holding a pig a little baby pig and Tay says can we get one and then the following day I got another text with a picture of a goat saying, we need a dairy goat. I have a feeling one of these days I'm gonna come home and there's just gonna be animals running wild in our yard. So, Mrs. Doubtfire. You ate my begonias! Shoot! Get, get! Ha! Brenda! What's up? Anyways, so, as you can see, we have done most of the chicken wire on the outside. Main reason for that, it might not look as clean as if it's on the inside, but with chicken wire, there are some sharp edges and I don't want the chickens getting caught on any of it. So we like to do it on the outside instead. These bugs are absolutely brutal. We got the door working. We got a few more sections here of the wiring we got to put on, and then we're just gonna roll it on the top and build that little house. Oh, this is such a pain in the butthole. Almost there, Billings fam. Tay's putting some staples in and then we're almost done. I'm excited. Billings fam, hold on. Chicken run, what? Chicken run, baby. Billings fam, super excited. We are almost done. It is getting a little late tonight. So we're gonna come out tomorrow and just finish up the little hen house. But that is it, guys. This is, this is it. This is a DIY chicken run. Hold on. We gotta test it out. We gotta test it out. All right, chicken run, chicken run, chicken run, chicken run, chicken run. Go, run. What? No, you're supposed to run. It's a chicken run. You gotta run. Pretty, pretty cool. We did just a little final adjustments here. We put on the little locks. So we can make sure it stays shut. And we got our handle on. Something we did, which I think is really fascinating. I don't know if you can see it in there. We made a chicken swing. Apparently they really love this. So we just took a piece of PVC we had laying around and it's kind of like a uh, Velcro rope. And we put that around there. And so hopefully they love that, but they are loving life out here. So much better than being inside. They need to be outside. They love it, doing great. So what we are gonna do over here is throw together their hen house up top. We are using just simple two by two plywood and the two by twos for the uh, frame. So we're just gonna make simple frame, make a little house. We're gonna put a slanted roof so no water catches. Are you helping, George? First part of the frame is complete, Vogue. So now we're gonna attach that to the plywood and this will be the base of the house. Hen house is complete. Take a look. Just got to put it up over there, but I wanted to quickly just show you what we did here. It's going to be the front right here, guys. We got the sloped roof, so the water goes out the back and doesn't fall into their little runner. And we will have the entrance right there that I'm going to build in two seconds. We got a little uh, shower curtain underneath here to help it help keep it waterproof. So we're going to open this so that you can take them out. Who's that? 
It's Zena and Kazoo and Fred. What's up, guys? What's up, I'm just chilling in here. Hey, Fred. Say hi to everybody. What up, dude? Want to go, go for a walk? Fred, go ahead. Who else is in here? We got Kazoo. Kazoo likes to hide when he comes out. And we got little Zena. What up, sweetie? Look at them all hanging out, Gray. <laughs> Fred, Fred is a super adventurous one. As soon as we put him out here, he is traveling all over. Hopefully you saw earlier, but we put Zena in with the big guys and she is loving it and doing great. And her shell is doing so much better underneath. And she has been growing and been shedding her shell. Her shell looks a little discolored right now from being outside, but that is growing. Most of that is new shell. She is doing awesome. Look at Fred. Fred, where are you going? He's like, I'm out of here, guys. But super cool. All right, so we are just about done. We're gonna get that little entrance cut right there, and we're gonna get it put up onto the chicken run. Baby shark, do, 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 do. All right, Billings fam, so it's been about a week since we started this and the chickens have been in here and absolutely loving it. I wanna show you a couple of updates that we're doing. So the house, we've actually been putting inside at night and that's where they've been staying to get out of the rain and the weather and whatnot. It's really funny, we have to come out every night. They fall asleep sitting up here instead of going inside. They don't, they're still so young, they don't for some reason understand to go in. Uh, really funny, came out the other night, it was pouring rain and they were both just sitting here like this in the rain. This is the ramp that we have too and it's really, really simple. This is what you guys would use. Again, we haven't been keeping the house up there so we're not using, but it is a one by eight by eight. Super, super simple. You just leave that, crawl right up here, they would go in here. The one thing you wanna remember is you would make sure to screen that in so obviously your chicken doesn't just fly away. If you didn't see though, in the live video we did, they spend most of their day, there they are right there, there's, there's Clover. They spend most of their day in this dog run. They love it, so we've been doing that for a while. Guys, if you haven't checked that out, check that video out. So what we are going to do, we are going to take the whole DIY chicken run coop thing that we built, we're gonna put it inside the dog pen and, and position it so that we can open the door and they can just run out and we'll leave the door propped open for the day and they can go in between both. I'm so glad we did this, guys. If you guys have some chickens, this is an easy thing to make and it really wasn't that expensive. You should definitely check it out. Again, they still have a couple more months before they start laying eggs. So that's why we haven't built like a brooder box yet, but we will be doing that as well. And over the next few videos, we'll probably update this guy with a few more things. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Guys, give us some likes down below. We gotta start, start getting a ton of likes. I, I haven't been seeing all the Billings fam. We need you guys. Where have you been? Like, comment, share, help us grow guys. We got so much more awesome stuff coming. As always Billings fam, peace.